right, we're doing correlations today. Uh, we're going to use the our, our three um, types of correlations, I guess. I mean, our three platforms <clears throat> in one video. Um, start here. We're on the, we're on our Mac, so let's go ahead and and do a quick. Um, uh, the, the quick and easy way, of course, is just to use Stat Plus. If you've installed Stat Plus, you can go to Statistics, <clears throat> Basic Statistics and Tables. Uh, if we assume that there's a linear correlation, we can just use uh, our Pearson function down here. Select our range. Include labels. We don't want to put the region in there. The region is going to um, uh, mess us up potentially. Check our preferences, our output size, decimal displays. OK, looks all good. Click OK. And it will shoot us out kind of a fancy schmancy looking uh, 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 table there that has um, um, our sample size, gives us a critical value, uh, it gives our, for, for <clears throat> our um, correlations between hetero and uh, moral, we've got a negative 5.9, gives us our standard error a T value between mobility and moral it gives us 49 for the correlation um, our standard error uh, and our T value and then for mobility and hetero the only one that we haven't um, discussed yet uh, it gives us our negative um, um, correlation and it also gives us this um, um, uh, little box down here, the HO 5%, uh, our null hypothesis, if we re remember our readings correctly. And do we reject or accept our null hypothesis? And we can see that Stat Plus gives this nice little thing. So hetero and moral. We reject the null hypothesis. We say there is a difference between the two. Uh, uh, mobility and moral. Again, we we reject it. That that there there is there is a difference. And um, and then finally with accepted. I mean with um, with um, uh, mobility and hetero. We accept the null hypothesis, saying, well, whatever is going on there could have happened by chance. <clears throat> so that's that's doing that with um, stat plus. All right, so oh, my software has been updating. Um, Windows. I've tunneled into my Windows machine at work. Correlation is as simple as going to your analysis tool pack. Selecting correlation. Selecting your input range, so just grabbing those three. And for these, you know, if, if you have uh, multiple columns you want to do, but they're not together, you're going to have to work with your spreadsheet a little bit to make that happen. Okay, labels in the first row. Um, I'll just put this right, right over here beside my data someplace. We'll just put it right here in the middle of the spreadsheet so that we can see it easily. Click OK and um, make you a little bit bigger. And, and here's our um, our um, correlation table. Now it doesn't give us the, the t values or the, the the r squared or any of that sort of stuff. It just gives us um, our um, um, correlation. Uh, we can see that moral and hetero is just like stat plus, negative, negatively correlated, um, 0.58 or actually 0.59. Um, 0.49, 0 
negative 0.49 mobility in moral. And then hetero in mobility um, is um, negative 0 0.06. That's the one that 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 um, um, we rejected. And if we, we remember our uh, our uh, rules of thumb about about that, you know, it's a pretty it's a pretty insubstantial correlation. So finally, coming over here to um, uh, R. So I, I have the same the same data set um, put in place. Um, this actually comes out of R originally. It's the um, um, uh, it's from the Angel um, library, which is in the companion to applied regression. So, doing um, summary correlation matrix in R using R Commander is pretty easy. Uh, we, we can click on uh, R Commander. Uh, let me go back here. Click on statistics, summaries. Statistics summaries, then a um, correlation matrix. Pick two or more variables, and what it will do, it will only show the variables that are eligible for for um, picking. Uh, Pearson product moment when we assume a linear relationship, that's the one we pick. We pick OK. It gives us our nice little correlation table down here. So, um, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. If um, if we want to, uh, uh, if you have the R markdown option going in your version of R Commander, you can generate an HTML report that then makes it really easy to just cut and paste into your uh, into your um, uh, file. So, uh, into your one of your file you're working on. So sometimes you want to you want to get this data uh, here over into your um, um, uh, into your working document. If you want to change your output a little bit to make it a little bit uh, more user friendly. There's the, the round function. You can use a round. Uh, then save your, your formula. Comma. Um, then the word digits. Equals however many how many decimal places you want it. Digits. Did I hit the wrong one? There we go. And then you round out your um, okay, and you can see that it, it, it made your uh, your your table a little bit more uh, readable by getting rid of all those excessive um, <coughs> excessive. Um, decimal points. So, okay, that's enough for now.